with meteorologist Matt Moore. It was yet another cool start to the morning across the Susquehanna Valley, and in some cases, a little bit in the way of foggy. And we will take the clock back here, 6:45 earlier this morning, looking uh, from our Harrisburg sky cam, the capital city here. You can see some of that fog there just along the horizon. Uh, as we went through the morning, though, that fog quickly burned away, and we were seeing mostly sunny skies through most of the morning, but as we're going into the afternoon hours, we're starting to see the clouds bubbling up. You can see them there all along the horizon now that we're looking live from our Harrisburg sky cam. Temperatures, though, are actually pretty comfortable. Right now, we're at 71 degrees. Dew points also in the 40s, so very comfortable range for them. And a southwesterly wind currently 3 miles per hour. We do have high pressure building in. It's a very weak one, but it is strong enough to give us at least the mostly sunny skies this morning. Some clouds are beginning to bubble up here, though, in the central part of the valley. Our current temperature Temperatures elsewhere sitting into really the upper 60s to the low 70s. You see 71 in Harrisburg. That is the milder spot this morning. Farther to the north, though, we are tracking a cold front that is on its way through. And you look at that, a little bit of snow associated with that. Some unseasonably cool air back behind that front. And we'll just get a little bit of that cool air. Not nearly that cold, but still some cool air on the way as we head into the later parts of the work week. So for the today in the News 8 Storm Team forecast, we have Duncan and Perry County in the background. A mixture of clouds and sunshine. Today, but it will remain rather comfortable. Low 70s for those highs, and some isolated areas getting into the mid 70s. Tonight will stay mainly clear with some areas of fog developing, much like what we saw earlier this morning. Temperatures uh, remaining rather cool, 50 to 54, just a touch warmer, milder, I should say, than what we saw earlier this morning. And as we head into tomorrow, some of that fog will be burning off to reveal sunshine, but much like today, a few of those clouds will begin to bubble up as that cold front I was just talking about begins to approach. The region. Overall, though, out ahead of that front, a little bit milder, 72 to 76 degrees for that high. If you're looking for something to do later on this evening, of course, we have the fairs going on. One in, one in particular here, the Solenko Fair, the 65th annual, uh, runs through this Friday. And again, it starts today. And for this evening, the temperature is rather comfortable. A few clouds around, comfortably cool, and 70 is down into the mid 60s as we head into the later parts of this evening. And of course, we are still tracking Hurricane Edward. It is a category. Category 1 hurricane has weakened from a Category 3 yesterday, but still packing winds around 90 miles per hour and its general movement off to the northeast. And what's interesting about Edward, it's actually not really going to go a whole lot farther east than what you see here. It will be actually curving around an area of high pressure and meandering around the Atlantic Ocean for a little bit, eventually weakening into just a tropical low and it will eventually dissipate into the Atlantic Ocean. So, not going to be affecting any land masses here in the United States or really in the Atlantic Ocean either. Now, now, again, we have high pressure building in for us here, and that means mostly sunny skies as we head through the afternoon and uh, really into the evening, mostly clear overnight tonight. But then we'll watch this cold front on the way in. And uh, you see, I'm predicting that cold front sweeps through, a little bit of cloudiness associated with it. Can't rule out a sprinkle in the northern counties, but most of us will be staying dry from this system. Behind that cold front, cool air dives in with this high pressure, and then we get into a bit of easterly flow heading into our Friday afternoon. That may give us a little bit in the way of some fog late Friday and as we go into Saturday morning. Some clouds associated with that as well, but we'll see those highs climbing into the middle 70s by the weekend. Can't rule out the chance of a shower late on Sunday as another system approaches the region, but look at those highs back up into the upper 70s, near 80 degrees there for Sunday. Chance of showers arrives as we head into our Monday, which is the first day of fall there, 72 degrees. And look at that, beyond the first day of fall, a real taste of fall, 68 for the high there. Oh. And going into really the middle of the middle of next week, it could be even cooler than that with those high temperatures. How so, about that? Uh, just in time for fall, too. Yeah. We'll have <laughs> but a it looks like a good stretch through the weekend. Yeah, yeah, pretty dry, too, going into at least the first half of the weekend. All right. Sunday, maybe some showers. All right. Thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.